What's up my fabulously fit friends? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different, but I am so super excited about my new purchase right behind me that I thought I would share it with you guys and give you a little bit of a new car truck tour. A little bit about me, I have grown up around trucks. I am very used to driving them. I learned how to drive with a truck, so I feel much more comfortable in a truck than I do a car. I've had two trucks before this one, and the last one that I had, um, it was rusting out horribly. It was a 2008 Chevy Silverado extended cab. Um, it was a full size 1500, so I'm very used to driving larger trucks, you know, versus like, um, like, like an S10 type of deal, so a full-size truck. But this is my first legit big girl truck. This is a 2500 Duramax Denali, so I'm not going to pretend like I know a lot about cars, because I don't, so I'm just going to show you some of the fun stuff um, that I'm very excited about. So going from a 2008 Chevy Silverado to a 2020 Duramax, Denali, which is like the top of the line for the GMC, the Denali is. Um, it has been <laughs> a lot of learning. So I am old school when it comes to buttons and knobs and I have a key fob now versus like an actual key. And so that's taken some getting used to. I always try to, you know, turn the key and there's nothing there. But I thought I'd give you an inside tour. Um, yes, I chose to go with the diesel. It is what I wanted. It's the body style that I wanted. Basically, I wanted my next vehicle, when I moved up from the 1500, um, I wanted my next vehicle to be brand new. Um, I've <laughs> kind of waited my whole life to get one brand new vehicle, and so this is it. And uh, I wanted it to be top of the line, because I want it to last me a very long time. My last truck I had for about five years, and it treated me very well. It did everything I needed it to. Um, it had almost 200,000 miles on it, and uh, I'm at the car wash, so if you hear stuff in the background, that's why. But it treated me very well, and uh, there wasn't a whole lot wrong with it, because I fixed a lot, but it, like I said, it was rusted out, like around like the fenders and the door frame, and there was times when I'd shut the doors or shut the tailgate, and rust would fall off from underneath it, and so it was time, and uh, I'm very excited about this. So let me give you the inside tour, and show you some of the fun, exciting things that going from a 2008 to a 2020 um, has given me. And like I said, I'm old school. So this has been a learning curve for me. I'm used to a lot of different things. So let's go ahead and hop inside. All right, we have the two-tone leather so it's like a dark slate kind of gray, and this is actually a little bit of like a brownish gray. I really wanted just straight black, but this is all they had, and I drove it. It kind of, I warmed up to the idea. I really like the woodwork in here. It's not super dark brown. It's more of a, that has like a gray sheen to it. So don't mind my fingerprints. But this right here is why I decided to go with this truck. This setup reminds me a lot of my old truck, so my 2008, so the knobs, things like that. I really wanted, this sounds so silly, but I really wanted a back warmer and a butt warmer separate. And so a lot of trucks don't have that now. They have just like an all encompassing one. So this was a huge sell for me. I know I bought literally a $70,000 truck for two buttons. But I promise you that's not the only thing. Obviously, key fob here. Um, yeah, so let me just show you around a little bit. The back seat, nice and clean. So, so fancy. I still haven't put the headrest down back there because I'm never back there. Um, what else is new? Let's go ahead and turn it on. So, if you are unfamiliar with diesels, you have to push in the brake before you turn it on. So it's warming up. This one I'm going to make a note of. So let me turn the steering wheel so you can see. So my 2008 had this whole lever was specifically, let me see if I can focus. There you go. Specifically for the windshield wipers only. They had a button right here, which was for the towing package. So this is new to me. It took me almost two weeks to figure out that there is a button right here 
I don't know if you can see that. Kind of. So there, that button right there actually shuts off the automatic bright lights. So otherwise they have the brights that turn on and turn off by themselves. So it's an automatic um, light, I guess. So when you are in a dark place, they automatically turn on. And then when you go back into like a town or um, cars coming towards you, they shut off by themselves. I don't know if it's because the truck is so new or if it's just sensitive, I'm not sure. But they were like flashing repeatedly, especially when I drive into work, it would go from under a lamp, um, like a street lamp, they would turn off and as soon as I got between two street lamps, they would shut off. And so I was constantly flashing my work. And so that kind of, okay, it really bothered me actually. That was like a, the biggest pet peeve. So I figured out that if you just tap, this little button right here it shuts them off completely so if you have a truck similar to this one um, and you can't figure out how to shut the lights off that is how I had to google it my husband had to google it uh, he sent me an article I didn't understand it I googled it googled it and I found out how to shut them off so love that um, one thing that I was told that this thing should be able to do but I haven't figured it out yet is there is an app on your phone that should be able to set a timer for the truck to automatically start on its own. But I'm thinking that because this is a diesel that it does not have that option. I can turn the truck on and off with the app, but I cannot set a timer for it to start. So um, maybe if you know if it is supposed to and where to find it, make sure to put it in the comments below because I'd love to figure it out because, you know, I wouldn't mind setting the timer um, to start when I'm at work. So that way it warms up um, adequately. What else is different? Um, let me flip you around and I will show you the screen. The screen is a lot, a lot smaller than like my husband's F-250. His is huge, it takes up this whole area. But yes, old school. I have my Pandora hooked up. So I have regular radio, my Bluetooth, but you can either go to the home button on the screen, you have a home button down here, but you, can get to your apps you can do all of this fun stuff this is actually really um, cool that I really like is you have two views of your vehicle so this is from the sky this is back behind me but you can change it so you can see different views as to what you're doing this one's kind of cool I'm not sure why it's so dark over there I think it's maybe because the wheels are turned kind of funky and I'm in a parking lot but very very cool um, this one's cool so if you have anything in the bed of your truck so I have a Mauser block right there and an axle bar so it can show you what's in there what else do I have um, I also get um, free Wi-Fi I get three gigs of Wi-Fi so that's kind of cool I can turn on so much stuff charging station for my cell phone stuff like that um, let me take you around and show you the tailgate because that's new. New for me, not necessarily new for this truck. Okay, so I can open the tailgate, which takes the whole thing down. It's still super wet from being washed. But then I can hit the second button and this guy comes down. I can pull out the step and I'm super short and this truck is so tall that I still have kind of a hard time stepping up in here. Right here is a handle, so if you actually need help getting up inside the truck, you have that option. But this is really handy, so when my husband and I went to Lowe's the other day, we bought some plywood, and in order to haul it, usually it sticks out the bed of the truck, like the back end over the tailgate, but when um, we hauled it, we could just drop this portion right here and shut the tailgate, and it kind of sat a little bit more level so that's kind of cool all right guys I'm not gonna keep you any longer but I wanted to show you my exciting new purchase it was well worth the investment well worth the money spent this will last me a very long time and because it's a 2500 I can pull it um, I could pull my other truck my 1500 but it's not competition weight for me so anytime I'm in a competition we're always pulling f-250s and my husband has one, but he's not always home. So now I can pull a competition weight truck on my own and not have to borrow anybody's, not have to do anything. I can just hook it up and I can pull away 
with my own body. So that's kind of cool. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to tap that subscription button because I'd love to have you stick around. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.